What a day. I had an awesome opportunity to ride a dual sport and a supermoto back to back in similar riding conditions and really break down the difference not only between the KLX 300 and KLX 300 supermoto, but just supermotos and dual sports in general. They share a lot of the same similarities. You know, they're based off dirt bikes, so it's a dirt bike platform for both of these bikes. But the things that are going to make them different really translate to a different sort of riding experience and just a different type of person who's going to buy these motorcycles. So both bikes utilize the same engine, a 292cc single cylinder liquid cooled four stroke engine, four valves per cylinder. Both bikes utilize the same suspension components, a 43 millimeter inverted cartridge fork, but the Supermoto is going to have about one inch less of suspension travel as well as stiffer spring rates to be a more road worthy orient of the two. The Supermoto also has 17 inch wheels front and back. That's what makes it a Supermoto along with a large front rotor, the 300 millimeter front disc, where the Dual Sport is gonna be a 250 millimeter front disc. We started off on the Dual Sport and both of these bikes, just riding them back to back in a nice group of buddies, it really just shows why Dual Sports and Supermotos are so much fun. You can do just about any type of riding on a Dual Sport. We started off you know, going through town, popping some wheelies, cutting some skids, get up on the dirt, and you, this bike can do you know, good off-road riding. It has plenty of suspension travel. It's plush in the initial part of the stroke, keep the wheels planted, but if you start jumping it or really kind of going fast on it, it has enough hold up that you aren't bottoming out and it just maintains a really nice ride height. Another thing that makes the Supermoto different than the Dual Sport, other than the 17 inch wheels, the shorter suspension travel is also the final gearing. The rear sprocket has three less teeth than the dual sport, so it's gonna you know, be able to carry out of a corner a little bit longer when you're on the uh, twisty back roads like we were today. You can kind of hold off on a shift until either you hit the next corner and get on the brakes or just get more drive before you grab that next gear. If you're familiar with the KLX 300 and KLX 300 Supermoto, You'll know that for 2024, these bikes have not changed dramatically. It's mostly styling updates for both of these models. They've now have new plastics, new colors, a new seat, a new headlight cowl with an LED headlight and an LED tail light. So really, today was more about which person should buy a dual sport and which person should buy a supermoto. Both of these offer really similar riding experiences. Both of them have a really neutral riding position. They're very flickable, agile, very approachable. They're not very powerful, but they still have a nice chug ability. Another thing that's really great about these bikes is the affordability. But that's something that's nice about a dual sport or a supermoto is that if you drop them, replacing the plastics on a dual sport is gonna be a lot more affordable and easier than replacing a, something like a Ninja 400 fairing. So what should you choose, a supermoto or a dual sport? For me, I'm more of a dirt guy, so I've always leaned a little bit more towards a dual sport, and you can still kind of get super moto-y on a dual sport, but for those coming from more of a street background who really want to take advantage of that extra grip for no stoppies, larger wheelies, backing it in, and just putting the power down on a twisty canyon road, the super moto is going to be the choice, but again, both of these bikes will do a lot. They're very flexible, very versatile, they're approachable, accessible, and they're just really fun bikes to ride, whether you're a beginner or all the way up to you know, an expert rider. Look for the link in the description for a more in-depth review. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and drop a comment below. I'll get back to you. Let me know what you think. Are you a dual sport guy or are you a supermoto guy? Let me know.